This is News on China in two minutes. In a biotech partnership, Cuba and China announced a patent for the new pan-corona vaccine. The vaccine was requested by China and aims to protect against possible future variants of COVID-19. The project was developed by a joint research center in Hunan, led by Cuban scientists, and relies on similar technology to the Cuban vaccines against COVID-19 and hepatitis B. Elderly migrant workers face increasing difficulties in finding jobs. Hiring age limits and modernization of industries are among the reasons for this. With low education levels and limited skills, migrants also lack unemployment support. By 2021, China had 80 million migrant workers over the age of 50, 27.3 percent of the total. Director Zhang Yong uses documentaries to tell everyday stories of Chinese-African relations. Aiming to overcome mutual stereotypes, which are reinforced by Western and Chinese commercial productions. Bobby's Factory focuses on a Nigerian and Chinese couple who opened a factory in China. And explores the lives of Chinese workers and the conflicts that arise on the assembly line. Shenzhou 14 spacecraft begins a six-month mission for the final construction phase of the Tiangong Space Station. The crew of three Taikonauts includes Liu Yang, the first Chinese woman to go into space in 2012. They will be responsible for docking the 20-ton Wengtian and Mengtian lab modules. Once installed, these modules will also assist in research on space science, materials, and medicine. Subscribe to News on China at dongshangnews.org.